Hello, grade seven. So this week we are starting with a new chapter, which is chapter two that is called mass. So let's get to know mass. So these are the objectives that we're going to cover during this week's lecture. So you guys will be able to define the mass of a body. You will be able to identify the SI units and other common units of mass. So let's start. All objects are made of matter, and we already said it in the previous chapter, but some contain matter more than others. Consider these two bottles of water, the big one, and the small one. It says, is the quantity of water the same in both bottles? What do you think? No, it is not. How about is the mass of the quantity of water in the first bottle greater than, less than, or equal to that contained in the second bottle? I want you to know to compare the masses of two objects is in fact to evaluate the quantity of matter they contain. So the first bottle, it contains more water than the second one. It means it contains more matter than the second one. So it has the greater mass. So we say the mass in the first bottle is what is greater than that in the second one. Hold a big water bottle in your left hand and a small one with your right hand. Which of the two bottles is heavier? So you have one, the first one in your left hand and the small one in your right hand. Which one is heavier? Of course, the big one. So the big water bottle. This is called a two arm balance two arms so we have one and two okay so we have two arms now how do we use it let's see it says separately place each of the two bottles on one arm of the two arm balance and explain your observation okay so we place the big bottle and the small one on the two plates of this two arm balance let's see what happens Okay, so what happened is that the plate carrying the big bottle, okay, it went down more than the plate carrying the small bottle, okay, which means that the big bottle is heavier than the small one. So we say the plate carrying the big bottle went down more than the plate carrying the small one. This means what? This means that the big bottle is heavier. So the big bottle is heavier okay since it went down more what can you conclude we can conclude that different matter it's obvious that these two contain different matter so different matter has different mass so we say different matter has different mass. So what we need to memorize is that the mass of an object represents the quantity of matter that the object is made of. So every 
object contains certain amount of matter inside of it. The mass is the quantity of this matter that the object is made of. Okay, so yeah, let's now talk about the units of mass. It says here, observe the bag of flour. So we have a bag of flour here. I'm sure you have one at home, so you can go, just pause the video and go bring the bag of flour. And uh, yeah, so let's use this one here. It says, what is the bag's mass? Now, the only number I see is this one here, okay, which says 10 kilograms. So the bag's mass is 10 kilograms. Mm. What is the unit used to express that mass? So what is the unit? This is a number. Now this is the unit. The unit is the kilograms. So the kilograms. What is the symbol of that unit? So we write kg, which is short for kilograms. So this is the symbol, which is kilograms. Let's have another example. We have this bag of rice. So you can bring a bag of rice, a bag of, uh, I don't know, sugar, salt, anything you have, and just look, look for the mass. So the mass is found right here. So what is the bag's mass? It is two kilograms. What is the unit used? It is kilograms. Okay, so it's the kilograms. What is the symbol of that unit? Which is kg. Okay. Now that we know that a kilogram is a unit of mass, let's get to know other units of mass. So I have here uh, a sugar bag. Okay, so let's see what is the mass of this sugar bag? It's 500 grams. Okay, now it's G, it's not kg, it's not kilograms, it's grams. So the other unit of mass is the gram, which is G. Okay, how about if you bring, uh, let's say, a medicine, okay, like a panadol or something? Let's bring uh, a medicine. We see that there is a mass written on it, right? So this is the mass of every uh, pill inside this medicine. So it says 500 mg, which is milligrams. So this is another unit of mass, which is the milligram. So I have kilogram, gram, and milligram. How about a car? Can I can I find the mass of a car? Yeah, sure. Uh, will the mass be in kilograms? No, it's a car. It's a very big car. So we need like a big unit for it, okay? Which is the ton. So this is like the biggest unit, okay? Because the car is so heavy. So we have a ton, which uh, its symbol is T. So before I read what you need to remember, I want you to know that the kilogram is a very special unit, okay, because it's the SI unit of mass. What do I mean by SI? SI is the international, international system. What is an international system? Let's say it's like a system that the entire that all the countries around the world use okay so that uh, we have something in common with all the countries so it's like a universal thing okay same as like if you speak english it's like universal language so you go everywhere around the globe and everyone will understand you but, and the same thing here so the kilogram is the universal unit of mass so if you went to let's say china and you asked for four kilograms of rice okay then the seller will understand what you're saying because this unit is used all around the world so this is what si means okay so let's read in si the mass of an object is expressed in kilogram kg other units are 
ton, gram, and milligram. Now that we've got to know the ton, kilogram, gram, and milligram, we're going to get to know how to convert from one unit to another. Before we do that, I want you to actually visualize uh, objects with these masses. Let's say, how, what is a ton? Like if I have one ton, how big is that, is that object or how heavy it is? It is like in the size of this car, okay? So a car is approximately one ton. So this is how big that this unit is. How about a kilogram? Like how much is a kilogram? It is like uh, the mass of two pineapples, okay? So the mass of two pineapples is approximately one kilogram. How about a gram? Just one dollar bill. So a one dollar bill? is approximately a gram and a milligram it's so small it is actually the mass of one grain of salt okay so this is how small a milligram is so ton is the biggest unit of mass and milligrams is the smallest unit of mass now how can i convert from ton to kilograms i simply multiply by Thousands. How about from kilograms to grams? Times thousands. From grams to milligrams? Times thousands. Okay, now let's go the other way. How about from milligrams to grams? I divide by thousand. From grams to kilograms? I divide by thousand. And from kilograms to ton? I also divide by thousand. So now we're going to solve an application on how to convert from one unit to another. But before we do that, you have to draw the table of conversion of the units of mass so that things become uh, easier for you. So let's see, ton, kilograms, grams, and milligrams. These are the units that we know. So in order to convert from one unit to another, I need to multiply or divide, right? So I need to actually memorize these just like that. Great, perfect. Now it says convert 1.6 ton equal to how many kilograms? So from ton to kilogram, I multiply by thousand. So I have 1.6 times thousand. It becomes, I can use a calculator here or I can simply move the uh, point. Okay, so it becomes 1,600 kilograms, 300 grams to kilograms. So now from grams to kilograms, I divide by 1,000. So I have 300 divided by 1,000. Okay, it is equal to 0 0.3 kilograms. And uh, the next one, three kilograms is equal to how many grams? So I multiply by thousand. I have three times thousand, which is equal to 3,000 grams. And the last one, it is 10 grams. I need to convert it to milligrams. So I multiply by thousand, 10 times thousand and becomes 10,000 milligrams. The next one is 1,200 kilograms. I want to convert it to tons. So from kilogram to ton, we divide by 1,000. So I say 1,200 kilograms divided by 1,000. And the answer is 1.2 ton, okay? You simply move the point one, two, three, and you put it here. Now we have 3,000 grams. So I'm at grams. I need to convert it to ton. So from gram to ton, I have to take two steps. Okay, so the first step, I divide by 1,000, and then I divide by another 1,000. So I say 3,000 divided by the first 1,000. I will get... They cancel each other. And I will get three, what, kilograms. Now I need to convert the kilograms into ton, which is 
I, uh, I divide by another thousand. So it is three divided by another thousand. Then it would be one, two, three, and we'll put it here and zeros. So it is 0 0.003 ton. And now we have 0 0.2 kilograms. So I am at kilograms. I need to convert to milligrams. So I divide, I take two steps. The first one to grams, which is multiplied by thousand. The other one to milligrams, we multiply by another thousand. So I say 0 0.2. I can do it all at once. Okay, so I can do it all at once. So I say 0 0.2 times the first thousand and then times the other thousand okay and then the answer would be two hundred thousand milligrams okay you can use a calculator if you want or you can do it uh, without a calculator and the last one is 0 0.7 ton. So I am at ton right here. I need to convert it to gram, which is here. So I need to take also two steps from ton to kilogram and then from kilograms to grams. Okay, so I multiply by the first thousand and then I multiply by the other thousand. So I say 0 0.7 times thousand and then times the other thousand. And this is 700,000 grams. That's it. We just finished this week's lecture. I hope you guys found it interesting and you can simply now solve the worksheet. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the Zoom live. Take care and bye-bye.